Welcome to the SAP Business One Octave Outsource Demonstration. Today I'm going to demonstrate an extension developed by Level 8 Systems that enables companies to outsource all or some of their manufacturing processes. We begin by looking at a bill of material. What I'm going to bring up here is a product of mine called a motor. And this small motor is manufactured by a company overseas. However, I do provide several key components uh, that goes into this motor and that I control those components. This is just uh, an example of the way I'm using the outsource uh, manufacturing for SAP Business One. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Is we need 50 of these motors and using this new extension for SAP Business One, I'm going to show you how easy it is to process outsource manufacturing transactions without losing any of the control of outsourcing your manufacturing operations. We're going to start off by putting in a purchase order. And a purchase order is essentially a contract between my company and the supplier for 50 motors. So I'm going to select the manufacturing company who's going to build the motors for me. And then I'm going to put in my part number, uh, labor costs for 50 of the motors. I uh, find out they're charging me uh, 350 an hour. And what we've done is we have added a new column in SAP Business One called Create Production Order. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to answer yes here. And what this Create Production Order column does is behind the scenes, it'll automatically create a production order that back flushes the components that I'm supplying to my manufacturer, takes them out of inventory for me automatically. So it helps me maintain a, a perfect inventory balance. It also helps me maintain a perfect cost of goods sold when these motors come back in from my supplier. So I'm going to answer yes here. And you can see now that this extension for me actually created a production order right from the purchase order line. I'm going to specify the warehouse these goods are coming back into and I'm, uh, I'm good to go. The purchase order has also been updated with the production order so I can start creating some very powerful reports that show me everything that's in production for a specific uh, manufacturer, what are my costs of inventory that's in production, and so forth. The next step here is to receive these motors back from the outsourced manufacturer. To do that, we use the standard SAP Business One goods receipt purchase order. And the goods receipt purchase order is going to uh, receive these motors from our supplier. So I select the supplier, and then down at the bottom, I'm going to take a quick shortcut here that allows me to just simply copy my goods receipt from my uh, outside process uh, purchase order. And here's a receipt for the 50 motors coming back in. At this point, I just simply say add. And I want you to look at the bottom left hand of the screen. What you're going to see is a message that says uh, production order has been completed for 50 units. Very simple yet powerful process. Uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. And if we go out and if we look at the production order, the production order is going to show us that uh, I've got uh, 50 of my components issued, 300 of my cable issued, uh, all back flushed. And when I look at my summary tab into the actual component cost, I can see a detailed analysis, uh, general ledger of uh, what made up that cost of goods sold. So to summarize, I simply added a purchase order, checked the box that said create a production order for outside processing, received the motors back from my outside process manufacturer, and in those two simple steps, my inventory for the material furnished was automatically withdrawn when my finished good from the production manufacturer came back in. Cost of goods sold was properly updated, and the process for outside manufacturing has been completely streamlined. If you would like more information on this extension for SAP Business One, you can contact Level 8 Systems or your SAP Business One partner. Thank you for watching.